Hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, I just want to take a couple minutes today and talk to you about funding your physical educa education program. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do. Uh, you know that whatever you're teaching, whatever subject, whatever grade level, funding is an issue. It doesn't matter what state, what country you're in, it's hard to fund your classroom, it's, it's hard to fund your gym, it's hard to fund your programs. Uh, but some things that I've done in the past is one, uh, the biggest thing that I've, I, I've done and that uh, other people do in our school is we just ask for help. You've got to ask for help if you want to have a successful program. Um, you know, this is, a cheer, this is a shirt that our cheerleaders do for um, cheer every year. This is just one of the designs from last year. But on the back of this shirt is a list of companies from our town, just a whole bunch of companies, 20-something different uh, businesses in Hinton and around our area that has donated to the cheer program to uh, help make this program successful, help buy new materials, things like that. And also, uh, another company actually donates the shirts for free to these girls, to, uh, and then the girls get to sell these and throw these out at ball games and things like that. And uh, you know, your community wants to help you. Your, computer, your community loves your program. They love your school district. They want to do anything they can to help you. And you know, during this time that we're in, um, it's going to be hard for some of those companies to do it, but there's still going to be some other ones that step up and help you uh, in your program. Another thing that I do, uh, a program I do here is called Little Dribblers. Uh, you know, I'm a basketball coach. I love basketball. I love working with these kids. So I've created a program called Little Dribblers. And uh, here's just a picture of our one, for, our one of them we did last year. And uh, for just $15 a kid, we do a basketball camp for a few days. Um, I have some upperclassmen that aren't uh, having a sport at that time come help me. I had about 15 uh, junior high and high school students help me organize this, and we had about 60 kids come to our basketball camp, you know, and uh, that's what funds my program every year. I raise a couple thousand dollars to uh, get new materials, things like that, and uh, it really, really helps out um, when it comes to running a physical education program. Um, I don't have my letter or a picture of it with me right now, but probably the when it comes back to the community, um, I send um, I send a letter home with parents with my Amazon wish list. Um, I just send this out and say, hey, these are some materials I'd love to have for PE. And at uh, the beginning of every year and at Christmas, and uh, you know I even send it out around my birthday, which is Christmas Eve, and say, hey, I would love to have some of these things if you could help me out in any way possible. And I've had amazing parents year after year after year buy materials off my Amazon wish list, send it to the school, and I write a thank you and I put a message for them on Facebook or Instagram saying, you know, thank you to so and so. And I, I put a video up of my kids using those materials. But uh, make an Amazon wish list. Um, do uh, go to a go to a Facebook page that helps teachers out and see what you can get there. Um, there's and then uh, the last thing to go with that is a. Uh, grants and uh, grants, scholarships, donations, things like that. Um, you know, I applied for a grant this year for a $100,000 weight room and uh, it's on its way here. Um, we got that grant, three schools in Oklahoma got it. And from watching on the internet, it only looked like about 10 schools applied. So that's a great chance to get that grant. So we have a $100,000 uh, fitness facility coming in from a Tough Stuff uh, Fitness International. Uh, they are going to come, and it's through the Governor's Fitness Challenge. They are going to bring us this awesome and incredible weight room for students. And, um, you know, and again, like I said, people want to help you. You just have to have the uh, humbleness and, and, and the uh, gentleness to go and ask people for help for your classroom. People want to do this. They want to be a part of your classroom. They want to be a part of your gym. They want to be a part of your success. So uh, these are just a few ideas that I do and some things that I do to help fund my gym and my PEs every year. Um, you know, through this, I take the, I, I usually get some new, new sporting equipment, new games, new tool, tools, new um, um, just equipment and things. But I also take all my classes out for a pizza party. Um, we have a movie night. We get to do things like that because, because I have incredible, incredible parents and incredible, incredible community that supports um, uh, my athletic program. So I challenge you to do these things as well. You know, ask for some help in your community and uh, help let them invest into you and invest into your kids and invest in your program. And, uh, you know, do those things and we'll have a great week in PE. I hope you have a great, <laughs> have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.